Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at the Mighty Minitropolis of Marnie, Iowa. It is a cold day here, but we are gonna take that beautiful hot rod. It's a Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 Twin. We're gonna take that hot rod out for a ride. It's not quite a stock Interceptor 650. It's got some goodies added to it, and we'll talk about that as we go. I'm gonna gear up, and we're gonna ride. Wahoo! Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it sounds good, sounds good. It's a cold and snowy day here. <laughs> well, you don't see much snow here, but it's, uh, it's there. If y'all are in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield Triumph Classic British bike of any type, get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty Minitropolis of Marnia, Iowa, or go to BaxterCycle.com. Make sure you tell them that Fuzzy Biker sent you. Wahoo! This hot rod is equipped with AEW slip-ons. Beautiful sounding slip-ons, I might add. Good looking too, kind of a pea shooter looking pipe. I love the way these things sound. Interceptor has got to be one of my favorite motorcycles to ride, period. Every time I ride one, I just fall in love with them all over again. Boy, she just sparks the life, doesn't she? And this one with the pipes is just amazing. <laughs> you know, we've got cold tires, cold brakes, cold ground. I better slow down, huh? <laughs> Safety first. Can y'all hear that engine? I like it. Let's do the spin test here, the famous spin test. These have a 55 inch wheelbase. I think it's 55, maybe it's 55.1. Anyway, it's about 1400 millimeters. And just look at that. It just works like a charm, you know? Absolute hoot to do it. Picks up speed like a bullet. Oh, this is a, oh, what a beautiful riding machine. What a beautiful riding machine. Those of you that follow me, you know I just bought myself a uh, Royal Enfield Super Meteor, which is the same engine and a heavier body and a classic uh, or a cruiser style versus this. And you might wonder why I did that. And the reason is I like cruisers, but this is absolutely probably the better all around motorcycle. It's lighter weight by about uh, 60 or 70 pounds. So it has, a, it has the same engine, but uh, feels like it has a lot more power. No one behind us here. This is the hill spin test. We got all kinds of light gravel and stuff on the road here, sand, so I gotta really watch it. We've had uh, snow and ice the last couple days, so. <laughs> if you're ever in Marnie, Iowa, get yourself over here to the derailed grill, get yourself a Wahoo burger. With Wahoo sauce on the side. Boy, this thing just picks right up. What a beautiful thing. This has a 648cc air and oil cooled parallel twin single overhead cam with a 270 degree crank. Makes that beautiful wop wop sound. It's all paired with a absolutely amazing six speed transmission. I think it's the, one of the best combinations out there. Engine puts out about 47 horsepower and about uh, 39 foot pounds of torque. I think that is about 53 Newton meters. Plenty of torque. I think this particular bike weighs 470 pounds or about 213 kilograms. That's stock form with a full tank of fuel. Boy, it sounds good. Those pipes are awesome. It's got about 4.3, 4.4 inches of travel on the front, 41 millimeter forks. Four point, let's say 4.4 inches of uh, travel on the front forks. Boy, it's a fun bike to ride. Very responsive. You know, it's just very playful. Let's do a little gravel just for the fun of it. This is one of those all around good motorcycles. It kind of does everything pretty darn well, you know? If you are only gonna have one bike in your life, this would be a very good one to have. Or if you wanted a, bu a bike that just kind of did everything, this is one. You can tour on this, you can sport bike on this, you can hot rod on this. They're endlessly customizable. And they're pretty darn quick and they handle so well. I've been doing some videos where I've ridden some uh, Norton Commandos, which has a totally different engine, of course, and uh, feel, but uh, the handling is very similar. You sit on top of the bike, and uh, it has that kind of a British bike feel for sure. <laughs> okay, we're spinning the tire there. <laughs> hey, Fuzzy, calm it down, my friend. <laughs> oh, what a hoot, what a hoot. I already mentioned the AEW slip-ons from BaxterCycle.com. 
but it also has uh, knee pads, tank pads, and it also has a touring seat on it. Very nice, comfortable touring seat. I'm thinking you could go a long ways on with it. There's a couple guys that have come through here, and uh, I think one was from South Carolina. Anyway, they came in on their interceptors. You know, they had them all geared up, and uh, they were doing a lot of long ride touring on them, and I think they're doing very well. And then, of course, Baxter's has turned a lot of these into scramblers and into uh, dirt bikes. <laughs> all right, I'm, uh, I'm getting a little out of hand here. I think I'm going to head back to the shop before we uh, do something silly. But anyway, you can just do just about everything with this motorcycle. It just does everything so well. Uh, by the way, the rear travel is about three and a half inches. I think 80, 89 millimeters. 88 or 89 millimeters, something like that. Ground clearance is about 6.7 inches. I think that's about 170 millimeters. Boy, this thing is responsive. So the big question is, if I like the way this thing handles so well, why did I buy myself a Super Meteor? And you know what I'm going to tell you? I'm going to do a video about that. How about that? I'll get both bikes side by side and we'll kind of go through the whole thing. I will tell you that this is one of the funnest motorcycles you will ever own if you buy one of these. They're just an absolute hoot and they do just about everything very, very well. And uh, I love, love, love riding. I, I, every time I ride one of these, I just fall in love all over again. <laughs> oh, that was an invigorating ride. <laughs> it's a chilly day here. It's below freezing most likely. But uh, look at that hot rod. What a, what a fun, ah, we got a little dirt on it, didn't we? Well, I'm bad, I'm bad. What can I say? Thing. So it's got the red and chrome, the red, gold stripe, chrome side tank. They put the side covers on it. These are my Tourmaster gloves. I'll get those out of the way. It's got the tour seat on it. It's got these beautiful AEW pipes on. We were listening to that. Just a beautiful chorus coming out of that. Oh, stainless steel fenders on the front and back. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I like it. A little bit of dirt on there. <laughs> I've been riding it for a little while. Let me just say that. But uh, it's got 18 inch tires front and rear. They're Seats. I can't remember the size. I think the front is a, a 190 18. I'm not sure what the rear is. Maybe we can spot it. It's a 130 70 18. Spoke wheels, of course. Very light. I already talked about the uh, 41 millimeter forks. Here's a big old oil cooler. Twin cylinder parallel, you know. I did a video where I adjusted the valves. There's eight valves in there. Just very easy to work on. That's one of the things about an Indian motorcycle is it's built to be worked on by its owner. Center stand comes stock right there. Just a wonderful handling motorcycle. Isn't that just a beautiful thing? Chrome grag bar, you know. Like I said, I already mentioned this beautiful touring seat. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's jump up here. It's got the uh, flash to pass light, high lows blinkers horn right there this one has a brace across here kill switch start switch fuel of course brake and clutch jumping down here we've got analog speedometer on this side analog tack on this side i love the tacks on these i love this setup here it's very classic looking you know uh, digital fuel gauge down here with a uh, trip meter down here using this button here you can go between uh there's odometer right now trip one or trip a actually and trip b and then over here you've got a not only do you have a battery light but you also have an oil light and those are two things i always like to have on a motorcycle isn't that just beautiful very classic looking and then if you back up and you see the tank and all that neat stuff that goes with it this is about as uh just as gorgeous as it can get especially with those fenders and i mean look at that that screams classic british motorcycle doesn't it and she rides like one handles like one it's just it's just a beautiful thing true piece of art true piece of art I love it. I love it. One of the best motorcycles you can get out there. You know, these things, I, I think they're about $7,000. Three-year unlimited mile warranty. And I, I always mention that because this bike is reliable. These are these are wonderful bikes. I've got a uh, Himalayan with over 24,000 miles on it. I haven't had a lick of trouble with it. I've got three Royal Infields now, and I just love these things. And you can do so much with these, you know. That's one of the ethos, or one of the things about a Royal Infield is they're, you know, low cost to get into, great warranty, they hold up, um, they're uh, infinitely modifiable, you can do all kinds of things with them, they, uh, you know, the aftermarket is incredible, the maintenance is simple, you can do it yourself, like I said, I did my own valves on my 650, I've got a, I mentioned already, my Super Meteor, just a beautiful, beautiful machine, one of my favorite overall motorcycles. As I do this video for you, I'm starting to think, did I did the right thing, did I do the right thing getting the Super Meteor versus, uh, this bike. And I tell you, it's a close call. Maybe I need one of each. <laughs> I'd have to get rid of one of my other bikes, right? 
Life is rough. Life is rough. Now, if you're in the market for a new used Royal Enfield Triumph classic British bike of any type, need parts, accessories, doodads, clothing, backpack, shoes, boots, gloves, anything at all, get yourself over to Baxter Cycle here, the mighty mini tropolis of Marnie, or go to BaxterCycle.com. Make sure you tell those guys Fuzzy Biker sent you. Hey, it's a chilly day here and it's a little cold and I don't think I'm gonna go ride any motorcycle, but if it's nice where y'all are at, get out there and do it, my friends. Life is good. Wahoo.